Rollin. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave 2D, I present you. YouTube star is actually oh what you is how you introduce yourself. You can't do this. You <laughs> on your shows we, on this usually, show. Usually, uh, no, I can't. That's not how it goes. It's a little weird. Oh, okay, all it's right. Really, so it's more casual, laid man. back. We're yeah. just chilling. We're just a couple of guys. We're hanging out. There's no YouTube stardom here. <laughs> all right, I like that. I, I appreciate that. Here's the thing, Dave. We have you here, like for a visit. You were just here hanging out, just doing the daily, and then this happens over here. On the screen. The busted fold phones. Samsung Galaxy Fold review phones are breaking after a couple of days of use. Now, you hadn't even seen this phone yet. Mm -hmm. You come down here with the best intentions. You come down, you head in, you knock on the door, you knock down the door, <laughs> and you ask to see the fold, which, of course, super compelling curiosity. There's a lot to it, and we end up looking at it in a video unlocking it there we go okay beautiful galaxy fold ladies and gentlemen and you're impressed i'm happy about it everything is cool it's futuristic back to the future blade runner star wars star trek all the stars stars <laughs> what's that called St star search for what i don't know Anyway, there's a craft. You're missing Starcraft. Oh, Starcraft, yes. Star Star Search was like in the old days of uh TV. They would look for the next like big had, star yeah, yeah. or something. I don't know what I'm talking about because it's before my time. Anyhow, you come in and you check it out and you were impressed at first. And then as we're filming that video, this news here breaks. Yep. Of it's the Galaxy weird. Fold review units breaking. The breaking news. Of, of breaking the breaking phones. fold. And so what's your take, man? I feel like it's too early to have like a solid opinion on this yet. But okay. my gut feeling is this looks like user error. The peeling of the, the plastic thing, which we've determined you didn't do. So your phone's in, in good condition still. But look at those. I mean, those pictures, they look, Oof. They look painful. Ouch. Right? It, like, look rough. at the, the one, scroll back up, Will, to two, like that one right there, the one below that. Below. With like the half black, and it's not even like split screen. It, the black bled onto the other one, even. Mm hmm. It's ugly. Yeah. I mean, this is not good news for Samsung, right? No. There's no way to slice it other than that way. That's <laughs> the only way to slice it. Yep. Now, to give a little more context for those that may not be aware of what exactly went down here. It looks like, at least for the majority of these cases, the individual reviewer who had the device attempted to remove a layer on top of the display, represented here, this is the display, attempted to remove a layer of polymer, I think Samsung's calling it. That's a picture of it. Willie Do's showing a picture of it. Thinking it was a screen protector that was user removable. Yeah. And optional. Yeah. And of course, Samsung has replied saying that's not the case mm -hmm. saying in fact that if you remove that your phone is doomed and that is like a critical piece of the functionality of this folding device now you know, complete full honesty all the honesty here mm -hmm. that i can possibly supply it never occurred to me to get a starbucks <laughs> this is a starbucks commercial there you go you didn't expect that right now <laughs> it never occurred to me to take that off like i've had the thing now for a few days when i unboxed it i never imagined it taking it off it never crossed my mind now that's not to say that 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 couldn't have happened maybe if it caught me on a bad day if they caught me without a coffee when i looked at it upstairs yeah i like it's not even noticeable that it is a a layer at first i mean if, you, if you're looking for it it does it's noticeable but it's kind of surprising, honestly. When I saw the news break and then I read yeah. what was happening and people were trying to remove that, I was like, I was quite surprised, to be honest, mm -hmm. to see the attempt to remove it. Now, in the defense of the individuals who attempted to remove it, there are other devices that ship with factory-installed screen protectors. OnePlus devices almost yeah. always do. And you can remove them if you want to. It's up to you. I would say that there hasn't, in my, in my experience, there hasn't been a phone that didn't like that had a layer that couldn't be removed until this. Correct. It's just that that layer is just 
It's not so I'll tell you, I'll tell you where I was coming from when I unbox it. I immediately recognize, oh, this is a different texture than what I'm used to. Oh, this is plastic. This mm -hmm. is not glass at all. Not only am I not going to mess with it at all, I'm also going to be more gentle with it than I typically would be a smartphone. In fact, I even went ahead and referenced this versus the Mate X because that one has this display folding backwards. Yeah. And I just felt like the durability wasn't there. At first glance, I was like, okay, this is, yes, it's a smartphone. It does what phones do, but it's going to require a little different attention in handling it. It has moving parts, like yeah. substantial moving parts. Now, Will was showing something on the screen there. Actually, there it is. Okay, so this is circulating now, this image. Attention, Who the main this screen. This is uh, Ask Oh, it's Dez. from uh, the T-Mobile guy? T-Mobile? Yeah. Yeah. He's from T-Mobile, and uh, this wrap was on the screen of his Galaxy Fold at the T-Mobile US HQ. Honestly, I don't even remember. We could check the footage from my unboxing video. I don't remember if I saw this particular message, but it kind of doesn't matter because people don't read this stuff. Yeah. Usually, they should. But anyway, what does it read? It says, the main screen includes a special protective layer. Peeling off the protective layer or using any adhesives on the main screen, such as a screen protector sticker, may cause damage. Yeah. So... The warning was there, apparently. That could be retail units. Like, yours may not be, you know, a retail, retail unit. Right. So, so reviewers might have got something different. They yeah. may have been missing the message, or they may just have overlooked it. Yeah. And you and I were talking earlier about what kind of warning is sufficient for this, this type of potential outcome. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a substantial warning. It may it's got to be on the screen. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe it's yellow. Yeah. Maybe it's a giant yellow sticker or orange. I mean, it's going to kill the unboxing experience, but maybe it's necessary in this case because obviously at least three reviewers, maybe We're, four, yeah, uh, seem to have attempted to remove that coating, that surface, and have, uh, have got some pretty terrible results yeah. as a consequence. Now, we should also note that Dieter from The Verge, it doesn't appear that he, he tried to manipulate his protector at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you look at his pictures, it just looks like maybe a fragment, a piece of dust or something has maybe snuck in there and, and somehow that's wrecked his. the more worrying story to me. Absolutely. Right? Like, if it's user error, that's user error. But if he didn't even peel his off and yeah. he's got something wrong with his screen. Yeah. I mean, really, my takeaway here... It, <laughs> is Ooh, it, look at that. That's his. I yeah. didn't see that picture before. Yeah, he's, he's showing, he thinks something got underneath. That's really prominent. Uh, oh, like some kind of lint? Well, you can see lint around the whole, he's got linty pockets. Sure. Look at the lint around the edge of the screen protector. Yeah, but if, that, if something's going into the mechanism and working its way under the screen like well, that? Well, because what happens is, look, when you, I noticed this when I first unboxed it, when you kind of move it, mm -hmm. when you hit the exact right point, there is a bit of a gap. A little opening. Yeah, there's a little it. opening that occurs there. And I mean, yeah, it's possible for something to get in there, especially if you, if you, I don't know, if you have anything in your pocket, any kind of dust, grit, and whatnot. It comes back to this thing about moving parts, mechanisms, yeah. and how they're not really ideal for tech products. It's the mechanical components that eventually fail. I mean, you look at the keyboards on the MacBooks, you're an expert on this. Yeah. You're, the, you're the prevailing expert on this particular topic, but it's like, it's, it is, the, the, these things have the potential to completely kill great ideas Yeah, because the mechanical implementation is just kind of impossible or near impossible. And this is one of those impossible tasks. Like here, we have this folding screen here where it's going to be touch sensitive here. We're going to have this hinge that you can open and close a hundred thousand times. Mm -hmm. It's all these various pieces that come together to eventually have this product. Now we should say, these are reviewers. These units are on loan. They're not out of, out of pocket 2000 bucks. So there's a way to view it from that standpoint. I mean, we're in that camp. As we kind of get products, we, we look at products through that lens. Right. If these were regular humans. Oh, dude. That's a different story. Now, that's two Gs. Yeah. That they paid. And now they're having this experience. That's killer. All of those people that had busted units, they were like Samsung replace mine yeah like within a day exactly if you're a user you are not getting that kind of service you're sitting there for who knows correct how long, right? there's preferential That's... treatment absolutely that takes place yeah and so we have to be clear about that that like if i bump into a problem someone's gonna address it right away if you bump into a problem it's the same kind of thing 
Regular users, they can't deal with this. The customer service required to deal with these types of things is gonna it's not gonna be available. The bandwidth's not gonna be there. Yeah. So this warning better get good before this product hits retail. So it actually turns out Samsung's saying that this thing can handle two hundred thousand folds, which I mean it seems like a big number. Yeah. I doubt that anyone who's reviewing it has folded and unfolded this thing two hundred thousand times at this point. And as you can see in this image, look at those cogs, dude. They're it's so small. a complicated procedure to build something like this. Yeah. And moving parts, they're finicky, they're fragile, and they don't get along with dust particles. So it's an unfortunate reality that we're living in here that making things like this is very hard. And there's the potential for problems. And typically speaking, the more ambitious you're being, the tougher it's going to be to satisfy and check all these boxes. Do you know if the Mate, like the Huawei phone, does it have the same kind of mechanism to enable the fold? It folds the other way. Right, so but does it need to be It has a different of... mechanism. It has a different mechanism. See how it has like a, kind of like a, a, a watch band? Yeah. See the little bumps like the, there? It's like the Surface Book thing. Yep, kind of. And it clicks. So when it gets to the closed position on the back, there's a clasp and it clicks into it. It's totally different. I right. really need to get my hands on this device. Yeah. And Huawei needs to speed up because Willy Doo's been harassing them. And they say it's going to happen and we're going to get it. And uh, I mean, that's the real test is like, oh, there it is. Is Can their you... implementation more robust? Is it possible? Is this why they went the other way with the, with the bend? But then you have the, the downside of exposing the plastic display to everything to everything in your yeah. pocket because there's no way of closing it like you can on the galaxy fold look these things are fancy items these ain't these ain't toys they're delicate they're they are right? i think gonna have to be treated in a different fashion than we're treating our current generation smartphones current gen smartphones are in version like a billion yeah they they have ip ratings yeah and they have drop tests and god knows what else gorilla glass version 10,000 10, exactly okay. so it's going to take a while for that type of uh advancement yeah to take place in this department as well we're in version 1.0 i'm granting a little leeway because of that it's like my criticism is on a scale it's in relationship to the amount of ambition if your product yep. isn't ambitious at all and then it sucks or it breaks or whatever then it's like well that's just a terrible thing all around in mm -hmm. every direction of course, you'd like to have every, you want to have your cake and eat it too. These guys are reaching for something, right? They're reaching for something that's pretty impressive. So it's hard. Leniency. It's hard. I, there's a little bit of leniency, but I mean, this is coming from a guy whose phone is working right now. I yeah. will be very upset if mine looked like those other phones on social media. Yeah. I will be very upset right now. I'd be talking to Sam, so I'd be like, man. And part of the, ups, the, the, the reason I'd be upset is because I'm enjoying interacting with it. Yeah. I'd be like, I wouldn't. Uh, yes, obviously, I want to give the accurate feedback and let mm -hmm. people know what's actually happening. Right. Very important. But also, I want to have the device. Yeah. I'm not ready to give it up. I just showed you video games on it. Yeah. Like, it's fun. It's cool. It's a new take. We play with smartphones for so long. It's a fresh look. Yeah. So, uh, there's a lot of excitement associated with that. Not, uh, here's the thing, though, okay? No excuses. This is obviously happening. These people don't have any real reason for this thing to happen. They would probably rather be using their devices as well. So this warning has to improve on the retail units. And here's to hoping that with an improved warning, this happens at least a lot less. Here's to hope. Here's, here's hoping to that. Is if that you'll notice, all the guys that had these issues, none of them really seemed like sour about it. Huh. Maybe because they got replacements or maybe huh. because they have the sentiment you did of like, it was fun until it busted. Let it me tell so you something, enjoyable. man. If you're a tech fan, this yeah. is the thing we've been waiting for for a long it's time, cool, man. man. We've been waiting for a reason to have this job. It's super Let, cool. Let's just be honest, man. As fun as it is to always have the latest tech, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a grind of this is a lot like the last piece of tech. Let's yep. just be honest about yep. it. And so when you see something that's a fresh form factor, it gives you a renewed purpose. Like I have some questions to legitimately answer now yeah. instead of just telling you, giving you A, B, C, D on a camera test on social media. Yeah. And people going, I, I look at, you know, I want the magenta. It's a hue on, there's a hue on the one. And you know what I mean? It gets, I, there's a value in that. 
getting into the nitty nitty gritty as these technologies become more mature, mm -hmm. it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. But these kind of moments, that's why you do this thing. You do this thing for these kind of moments. When there's a, a paradigm shift, that's what you hope for. Yeah. And that's what this thing represents. Maybe not this version, but hopefully, eventually. It can only get better, man. I keep saying it, but it can only get better. And it's going to, right? There's a lot of moving parts. You can hear it. You can see it in the pictures, but it's like... It's a whole new form factor. It's a whole new thought process. And I think, like I said, I think you got to give some leeway for it. People are going to call me out. They're going to say, oh, you're such a fanboy. Samsung fanboy making excuses. Honestly, if this thing had an Apple badge on it, I'd be saying the exact same thing. Yeah. I, I would be applauding the ambition. I promise you that. Yeah, especially because you guys were the first. Absolutely. Right? So it's, it's sitting like, here in front of me. They were like, hey, try this thing out. Like that, that does matter. Yeah. That matters. It's a physical product. It's in the presence. They gave it out to people, even though it was risky. So it's an unfortunate, it's an unfortunate situation. But like you said, it's version one. Improvements are, are, are likely to take place. I hope that they don't give up on the concept altogether. That would be because a shame. there's something in there. Yeah. There's something really <clears throat> interesting happening in there. If you're a tech fan and the minute you pick the thing up, you recognize that there's something interesting happening in there. Even though the implementation could alter, could change a little bit between now and the final the, the final folding phone that everybody eventually has. Yeah. I got a question for you. Yeah. There because of the value of this, because it's two G's. This could be just a personal thing. I feel like there's a bit of hesitancy. Like if I owned one, if I bought a two thousand dollar phone, mm. there'd be I'd hesitate to pull this out in public and be like, "Bam, look what I'm using." Like some people would love that, right? People mm. that drive the Ferraris are like, "Look what I got." But there's a part of me that's like, people would judge me mm -hmm. for having a two thousand American two thousand dollar phone. Absolutely. Like that's what is that? Like three G's Canadian? Like yeah. this is going to be super expensive. It's here. a status symbol, yeah. And you might not want that status symbol. But you let's might, see, like, do you, you might want to be more low key. Do you feel that like any kind of like not a stigma? Do you feel like there's a, you know, this is not a regular kind of for flex. for us we get a pass, we get a pass. I'm just testing it out, right? Okay. So are you? So are you? I don't have one, but I. If I, you did, I'm saying when you, if you're testing some new product, yeah, you get to lean on this idea that well, it's part of doing the job. Sure. It's not. Uh, it's not as much a personal representation as it would be if you went out of your way as a gen as a member of the general public non YouTube video maker right. and you were like I'm about to participate in this right right here. But for those people, do you feel for like those people, that it's a it's a possibility? But do people care? Or do people want the opposite? Do people want other people to know that they're they're rocking the that there's something different? Like, is this a thing in the club? Like, in the club, it's you know I'm busy yeah. over here. Like. Yeah. That's a thing, right? Pretending to be on the phone so they can pull it out. That's the thing. People want uh, status is important. I, not to, I mean, to a varying degree to different people. And some, like you said, try to go the other direction with it. But let's be honest. You pull out an iPhone. It's an established brand. You, you expect to be perceived a certain way. It's not... Uh, it's not a, uh, what, what do we have? What kind of phone do we have show up with some random brand name? You know? Yeah, there you go. Umi Digi. Umi Digi. Oh, like, that's, it's not that. Yeah. Right? So, like, look how prominent Apple puts the logo. This is yours. Look how prominent Apple puts, like. It's there. It, hey, I'm, I'm somebody, like, you know. And, and especially in parts of the world where this is very expensive comparative to the average smartphone purchase mm -hmm. price. So status is a component in almost everything, right? And there's no way to untangle that completely. But I feel you in the sense that there's never been a more recognizable phone. You hold that thing up, it's like, whoa, that's different. I better ask some questions. But it's just, it's the value, man. Like that is astronomically expensive. Very expensive. Yep. It's, right? I mean, it's, is it the most expensive phone? The most expensive retail phone? I think it is. Really? Right now, until the mate. Until the Mate X, which was gonna, which is going to be like five hundred bucks more, so that's really the one. That's the comparison I can't wait to do. And between the two, yeah. And who knows? Maybe the reason I don't have it in my hands yet, maybe they got their own issues. 
they maybe, maybe they got their own screens. worries. Maybe that's why everybody only gets like 10 minutes with it. Because maybe internally they're like, oh man, look what happened to the fold. Yeah. We can't give these, we can't give it out to those savage tech reviewers. Yeah. Who knows what they might do to it? I, I mean, there's got to be some kind of sentiment like that internally. They, they really want to have their T's crossed and their I's dotted because if things go sour, they go really sour. Like it's top of trending right now. Mm -hmm. YouTube or uh, uh, Twitter moments. It's at the top right now. What's happening with the fold? The phone, really? Wow. It's the top. That's why Willie Do brought it up. It's at the very top. Maybe it moved now. I don't know. It's number two now. But if he refreshes, it might go back over to the top. Three hours ago. It's a fresh story. That's crazy. And people care. You know, it's a hot story. And, and it's in tech. And part of it has to do with the amount of attention it got from the jump. But we had to address it. You know, we had to address it because I've done like four videos on this thing now. Mm -hmm. And people are already saying like, you know, where's the downside? Where's the drawback? Because there always is one. Mm -hmm. And turns out this is it. Durability is going to be an issue. There's no IP rating. Dust. Moving parts. This is a phone you're going to have to have a different kind of awareness with than a solid state slab like we're used to. And that's going to be part of the ownership process. And you got to decide if that's a yeah. trade-off you're willing to make or not. Yeah. You, and you also have to decide if you really want to be one of these early adopters. Because let's not pretend that this isn't 1.0. It is. This is, very, sure. this is very 1.0. The thing is, if you spend that money a year from now, you may think, I backed the wrong horse. Yeah. Right? If that doesn't pan out the way that you wanted it to or... I would not be, I'll go on record right now. Yeah. If this next smartphone purchase has to be rock solid, don't buy this one. Yeah. If this next smartphone purchase is your last smartphone purchase for a couple years, don't buy this one. Yeah. This is for the type of person that wants to be on a fringe, yeah. willingly understands the potential drawbacks of something like this, yeah. is going to baby it, and, and is going to deal with some of those drawbacks. And and uh, and customer service or potential customers and so on. You know, you understand. Mm -hmm. So similar things happen with like luxury cars and whatnot. You know, they're not necessarily the most reliable. Yeah, but imagine you threw out fifty review units and five but, of them busted. But you you know what I mean by this is I'm saying like the the most rock solid car is like a Toyota Corolla. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Because of volume. Yeah. But the lower volume, more luxurious items aren't necessarily the safest bets. No, they're not. And and you look at the repair cost on some luxury. Co you know what I'm yeah. saying? You know where I'm going with this? Yeah. It's this like, is that. It's like it's like this. No one's gonna tell you this is a smart purchase. Like rush out mm -hmm. and make a smart. No, it's two grand. It's risky. It's yeah. brand new. No one, anyone telling you to go get it, you have to question them because it's been out for like three days, and it's a whole new form factor. Like yeah. no one can tell you to go get it. Guys like you and I can say, look how cool this is. Wow, I'm happy to do this job. I'm glad there's this new thing to look at. Yeah. And, and we can do, do all the wows and woes. It's, kind of, it's the job. Right. But then we have to also say, don't translate those wows into a purchase decision. I'm paying right now. Yeah. Right? You got to take it for what it is. There's the video to be made. There's the expression. There's the interaction. Take that for what it is. But then always reflect back on what you need out of a smartphone. And what risk you're happy with uh, or comfortable with taking. That's, what, that's, that's where I would leave it. So Galaxy Fold, there are some issues. It looks like hopefully they are somewhat isolated. Mine is okay for now. Cross your fingers. Tie your shoelaces. Hopefully this one keeps going because I'm just getting into it. The SIM card is in, ladies and gentlemen. Celebration. Celebrate good times.